India's Goods and Services Tax or GST revenue collection has reached new heights in October as it stood at Rs 130,227 crore rupees, the second highest revenue collection ever since the taxation system was introduced. The revenue of October are 24% higher than the GST revenues in the same month last year and 36% more than the 2019-2020 period. The GST revenue for the month of October only falls short in front of the GST revenue collected earlier this year when the gross revenue stood at 141,384 crore rupees. With over 106 crore vaccine jabs administered and the effective Modi administration allowing the markets to open in the beautiful festival season, the numbers are a clear translation of economy taking an upward turn despite the gloom from armchair economists. Hi and welcome, this is TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Piyush and in this video, I will tell you how India's GST boom bears testament to an economy that's racing for the win. Let's begin. Of the 130,127 crore rupees collected, Central GST makes up for 3,861 crore rupees. State GST makes up for 30,421 crore rupees. IGST makes up for 67,361 crore rupees, including 32,998 crore rupees collected on import of goods, while CES makes up for 8,484 crore rupees, including 699 crore rupees collected on import of goods. Buoyed by the numbers, India's stock market benchmark Sensex was up over 831 points at the time of closing last evening. Talking about the achievement, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman took to Twitter to share the numbers. GST collection of October 2021 registered the second highest since the implementation of GST rupees 1,30,127 crores gross GST revenue collected in October. The revenues of October 2021 are 24% higher than the GST revenues in the same month last year and 36 over 1920. The ministry has attributed the record GST collection to increased compliance as both centre and state squared off the potential tax evaders. The revenue has also been aided due to the efforts of state and central tax administration resulting in increased compliance over previous months. In addition to action against individual tax evaders, this has been a result of the multi-pronged approach followed by the GST Council. On one hand, various measures have been taken to ease compliance like nil filing through SMS, enabling quarterly return monthly payment system and auto population in return. This indicates that the timely payment of taxes has been increasing over a period of time due to policy measures and administrative efforts. Statewise, it is Jammu and Kashmir that has registered highest growth. The gross revenue collection grew from 377 crore rupees in the same month last year to 648 crore rupees, suggesting the growth of whopping 72%. The GST collection of the country, after posting above 1 lakh crore rupees mark for 8 months in a row, had momentarily dipped in June 2021. However, after the lockdowns were lifted in the majority of the states, the collection has breached 1 lakh crore barrier once again on four consecutive occasions. With the economy opening and the rest of the COVID restrictions being lifted, the figures are expected to increase in the coming months as well. The festive season has also helped the revenue collection as well. However, the revenue could have been far higher if the sales of cars and other products had not been affected on account of disruption in the supply of semiconductors. Ever since the pandemic began, the rise in demand of electrical equipment has led to an increase in demand for semiconductors. However, disruption in the supply chain has led to a decrease in the supply of strategic electrical equipment. Usually made of silicon, semiconductors are a strategic technology asset in today's globalized world. From car batteries, to laptops, to smartphones, to household appliances, to gaming consoles and everything in between, semiconductors perform the fulcrum of the job in powering smart electronic devices. It's not only at the GST front that India under the Modi government is hurling through new barriers, the banking sector, which forms the bedrock of the economy, has been resuscitated as well. As reported by TFI last month, global credit rating agency Moody's revised the outlook for Indian banking sector to stable from negative. The credit agency added 
we have revised the outlook of the Indian banking sector to stable from negative. The deterioration of asset quality since the onset of coronavirus pandemic has been moderate and an improving operating environment will support asset quality. Declining credit cost as a result of improving asset quality will lead to improvements in profitability. Reportedly, the agency believes that aided by a stable banking sector, India's economy will continue to recover miraculously in the next 12 to 18 months, with GDP growing 9.3% in the fiscal year ending in March 2022 and 7.9% in the following year, meaning the GST collection, which just touched its second highest revenue, will hit new height. Even after a devastating second wave of the pandemic, the Modi government managed to wade through the testing waters and is now reaping the reward for it. The record GST collections and stabilizing banking sectors are indicators that the economy is coming out of the pandemic rather brilliantly. The best part is that there is still a whole lot of room left for the government to bring its sweeping reforms and clock new astronomical numbers.